What's up guys? Welcome back to another video with the Math Maker. My name is Jordan and today we'll be talking about the five M's in R. Or how they're rightfully spelled maximum, minimum, median, mode, mean, and range. But like I said, the um the five R's is a lot easier than saying all of that all the time. So, I know I just did a video a few minutes ago, but I was saying to myself that it was just a review. You might still want to review, but I want to do a, another video where I'm actually teaching you guys something. So, I wanted to teach you about this. You're going to sooner or later get it, and it's very important in sixth grade, as I have learned in my year, in my past year. So, to the, so we're going to start with the minimum. The minimum is the smallest number, not the smallest amount. So the smallest number here is one. You can find the minimum even if it's like this. Three, one, two, three, two, one. You would you could automatically kind of see that one is the smallest number. Even though even though it has a bigger amount than the rest. See, as one, two, three, that's for the mode. But we'll be talking about that later in the video. So then, this is the minimum. It's the smallest number. You can't get any smaller than one. I'm not saying you can't in general. You just can't get any smaller than one in general. In this line, this number line right here, where you, we have these numbers, you can't get any smaller. There's no zero, there's no negative one, there's no decimal or fraction. Or even percentage. So you stop at zero. Not zero. You stop at one. So one is your minimum. Min. And on the other hand, three is your maximum. Even though it has a, even though it's the least amount of numbers, it's still your maximum. Because it still has, it's still the biggest number out of one, two, and three. If it was, if we have four, five, or six, then six would be it, five would be it, or four would be it. I'm not saying in general, I'm just saying if it was four, then four. If it was five, it would be five. If, they, if I had six, it would be six. But in this case, three is, so we have maximum here. We just talked about the minimum, the minimum and maximum. Now we're going to be talking the, about the range. The range is just the minimum minus the maximum. So minimum minus maximum equals answer. But in this case, it, but with these numbers, you can do minimum, I mean maximum, which is three, minus minimum, which is one, equals, in this case, two. So then now we have two as the answer. So now we have to find the middle of the numbers. I'll be erasing this so I can give you a better view. Not view, a better idea of what I'm doing. So then you have to, the median means the middle. If you if you kind of break it down, you have you hear mid or mean, which kind of means middle if you split it, but. Median means middle. So, you can either do something like this. Cross, 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 cross. I'm coming. Um, you can cross off your numbers like this. No, you're not the middle, 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 not the middle. In this case, I actually came against the black because... There is no median, as you can see. They both even out. Um, they both. I have an even amount of numbers. Wait, never mind. I actually don't have any even amount of numbers. But if I did, like I do right now, since I erased that one, this is what you would do. 
since these are the two numbers closest to the middle, you would so you would add two plus three divided by a half or two. So five divided by a half. You're gonna end up into the decimal points into the decimals. So I could do this in my head, but I want to show you guys how you do this. So you, you would bring you would get your two. You bring it over here for you have one, then bring your decimal in. Four. Not four, two. And now I'm dividing incorrectly. Yeah, oh, two. Then you bring down a zero because that decimal point. And two goes into ten five times evenly. So it would be two and five tenths. I wanted to just show you that, especially like how I just finished dividing decimals. So then our median, middle, or mid, would be 2.5. Now we're going to be starting on, since we did range, Median, minimum, and maximum. Now we have to finish the last two M's, which is mo mode and mean. So then we have one, two, um, we're not going to include the 2.5 right now, three. So now we're going to do the mode. In this case, our mode would be free. Because this is what I was trying to talk about earlier. The mode is the uh, most amount of numbers. So, whenever you're finding the mode, it's different from finding the minimum or maximum. The minimum or maximum is finding the smallest and biggest number. The mode, on the other hand, is finding the most amount of numbers. In this case, it's just that Three is my most amount of numbers, so this would be my mode. Now for the hardest part. Well, it just depends on how you um on how good you are at it. The mean. The mean is finding the average. And I know you're gonna get confused by that. So then the average is you add up all of these numbers from the smallest number all the way to the end to the biggest number all the way over there. You add all of them up. So, I'll just do it over here on the sidebar. One plus two plus two plus two plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three equals. Oh, and there was one more one in total. Oh, wait, no. That one. So now we have. You can either multiply because you know three times four equals twelve, or you can just add. No, normally, you can multiply these, and then this is what I usually do, do just in my head. So then you would do. After that, you would have six, because the twos, and then one because one times one equals one. So then. 6 plus 12 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So now you must divide all of these numbers by your total. Or you could just add, but just to find the average, you can either add, multiply, whatever works for you. So now we're going to do 19 divided by 8. 19 divided by 8 is what we're going to do. Yes. Divided by 8. So, 8 goes into 19. Two times. Got the 6, bring down the 3. Bring down the 0. That goes into that 3 times. Then you bring down another zero, 
it goes into 60, it goes into 60 about 6, 7 times, 7 times, so then after you get that 7 times, you would get 4, and then you'd bring down a 0, and 8 goes into 40 evenly 5 times. So I know um, that it's kind of a long number, but this would be your answer. So your answer would be 2.375. So um, this is going to be the end of my video for today. I'll be doing another one to explain um, the 5Ms and the R a little better, but Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and tap the notification bell if this is your first video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and have a good day.